Welcome to another edition of Smalltalk for you. This morning I wanted to take a look at another browsing tool you can use within VA Smalltalk, and that is the refactoring browser. Now if you're coming from one of the open source Smalltalks like Faro or Squeak, or you're coming from VisualWorks, you're probably already familiar with this. So let's go in here and we'll go to Tools, Load, Unload Features. And if you scroll down, you find down here in the alphabetical list, you find Refactoring Browser. So you move that over, hit OK, it'll go ahead and load it. Once that's in, let me just compare and contrast here. Let's go to Browse Applications, and we'll come in here and we'll try to find, well, first off, I have to just scroll down. I think I can select something and then type. So if I select and type C, it goes down here to counter app. So I loaded this beforehand so you can see how this works. So you can see that I've got all the super classes grayed out. If I go into counter tests, this is a little harder. I have to open this up to see the thing I have. Now the one advantage of this tool is that I can right click here and I have the test option right here and I can run that. Whereas if I go into the refactoring browser, tools, refactoring browser, it's right there. And we'll expand this a bit and let's scroll down to the C's. So let's find our app here. So we have counter app. And this is a little more familiar, at least to me, from the standpoint of the classic four pane browser where you go to application, class, protocol category, and of course code. And in VA, you don't always get the protocol categories, but that's the way these things work. And you come in here to counter app, and that's just the application. So you go to tests app, you go to the tests, and here, it doesn't look like there's a convenient way to run the tests from here. So that is one downside of the RB. But if you're more familiar with this tool, you already know how to use it, and it gives you kind of a nice entry point into VA where you can kind of walk your way into the other tools from something you already know. So if you're coming from Squeak or Faro or VisualWorks or Object Studio, this is probably going to be an easier entree to VA Smalltalk because it's a tool you're already largely familiar with. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever Smalltalk you're using.